Well, hi there, everyone. Uh, I got a theory. Uh, it's just a working prototype, really, on why it is we had such a lousy year for salmon, uh, sockeye salmon specifically, uh, everywhere. It, it was like so hard to get sockeye salmon. Uh, they say every four years we have a lousy year, uh, which would hold true. Uh, just based on the cycles that they go through and you know they're probably out at sea the ones that are there and all this and that and I had heard that the waters are warming up um, I had heard some things like um, that we don't get winters in Vancouver like we used to like I don't know if you noticed but it ain't warm out there <laughs> it's 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 November weather, okay? It's not freezing over, but it's it's definitely definitely kind of chilly. Okay, so a lot of little lakes and little pond or well, lakes uh, aren't going to freeze over like they used to, but the earth goes through natural cycles, and I believe I made a video about this. Um, so, okay, the waters are warming up a little bit. Um, and we're starting to get the introduction of uh, fish from that are normally lower uh, down the continent are starting to creep their way forward um, or upward north. Um, all these are factors, but one factor that's not being talked about or considered is the fact that the Russians could have come along and taken the salmon as part of some secret deal. I mean, how many of us are going to go to Russia anyway? That's one thing. Two, they'll just package it and call it something else. Uh, and you may go, well, it's only sockeye salmon. I mean, sure, it tastes good, but is it really worth all this diplomatic uh, entanglement? Well, the thing is, we were already entangled with the Russians. We got a very complex relationship with them. Of course, in the media, everything's dumbed down to the point where it's like they are they want to breed zombies. That's why in, in the last, uh, you know, last 10 years or so, zombie movies and zombie propaganda and zombie video games have grown. Uh, it's because this concept of just idiots wandering around uh, appeals to a lot of people. I don't like that sort of thing. I, I don't like zombie stories. Except Shaun of the Dead. That was the best movie. But anyway, that's all off topic. Uh, I have some suspicion that the Russians have come along and taken our sockeye salmon. Um, Alaska is where the sockeye generally go through to come to our coastline where we fish them and all that. So when you buy a can of salmon and it says that it's uh, USA, really it was on our, its way to Vancouver area. The thing is, uh, Alaska is so close to Russia, you wouldn't believe it. It's like a stone's throw away. And like uh, undetectable nuclear submarines and all this sort of stuff. I most certainly did make a video about this. Uh, this was how Russia could attack us from uh from Alaska to North America, the rest of North America. And uh, I'm starting to get the impression in my head, you know, uh, based on the anti-Putin propaganda, the fact he's talked about a lot in the media, uh, specifically on the internet, uh, the thing is, they don't talk about people they don't like. There are politicians that you don't know exist, you've never heard their name, you don't know their face, and uh, our government really hates them. So the fact that they're even talking about this Putin guy, and he's been around a while, I think he's a Cossack. He looks like one. So uh, could be wrong on that. Somebody wants to prove me wrong on that, then they're more than welcome to. Uh, but my point is, uh, I think the Russians uh, have some sort of a trade deal where they get the bulk of the uh, sockeye salmon every few years or whatever, and that could change. Um, it's a backdoor deal. Uh, 
we're not supposed to know about that. We're given vague stories about climate change, sockeye dwindling, blah, 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 blah. But, uh, you know, propaganda is everywhere. You may not think that living in Western culture, but it's very important for government to control all aspects of it. So, again, like, uh, like I said, with sockeye salmon, uh, why would you get into a political entanglement over that? Well, the thing is, it's imperial prestige. Sockeye salmon is one of the most delicious uh, fish in the ocean. It's relatively clean, and it's just, it's an amazing fish. It's the best of the salmon, and, um, yeah, genuinely, it's more or less in our area. Because the thing is, um, having an alliance with the Russians, perhaps even letting them retake part of Alaska to better trade relations with, with us, might be a good thing. Because it'll keep other countries, specifically the Asian countries like uh, China, even Japan, and all those other countries, because there ain't a whole lot stopping them from going up and uh, patrolling our oceans, our territory for highly sought after fish, such as sockeye salmon. Um, the uh, American military, the Canadian military, doesn't have the manpower to continually watch those waters. And it goes further than just them taking the salmon. I mean, that's a piss off. But there are other things they can do, like, you know, uh, bring uh, nuclear weapons or biological weapons or any of that sort of stuff. And they have to have a firm, no, you're not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to come here and do that. And part of that is us allying ourselves with a country whom we've had historical alliances with, like particularly during World War One and World War Two. I mean, sure, we didn't like their leadership, and you know, but Putin's a thousand billion times better than they were. And uh, the thing is, we gotta face facts. The Russian military and the Russian uh, uh, gangs uh, by foot soldier are tougher than our ones. The gangs in the military, I mean, I'm not bad rap in the military in North America or anything like that, but uh, those Russians, they're, they're tough mothers. And uh, our gangs, from what I've seen, not that I've seen much, uh, believe me, but uh, they're quite tame. I mean, I, I didn't roll with the gangs in, back in high school, but I knew of them, and I knew of them from day one. And I knew how to be a prick towards them, and I completely got away with it. So, I know they're tame. If I can get away with it, you know, some dim-witted hockey fan can get away with it, then no doubt a smart intellectual body organization could definitely fuck them up. Uh, so, I, I've mentioned a few topics. Uh, the main point was, um, I believe the Russians have taken a lot of our sockeye salmon. That's why we've had a lousy year this year. Um, that's not the explanation that's been given to uh, local fisheries and all that sort of stuff. Uh, it's all hush-hush. Um, it's a distinct possibility. Uh, I would really relish someone to definitively prove me wrong. And I don't mean putting up a link, as I've explained, it's not evidence, uh, written by some professor I've never heard of with no visual evidence. That is not sufficient. That will not do. So I'm saying I believe the Russians have taken the salmon and there wasn't a lot we could do about it. And the thing is, do we really want such a precarious relationship with Russia forever or an indefinite amount of time? Do we really want that? Is that really necessary? Like, why don't we just, like, I admit, them taking part of Alaska back, not the whole thing, obviously, but part of it, would mean less sockeye salmon for us, which would obviously not be good, and it'd make us look weak. Uh, 
in front of the Russians, which uh, ideally we wouldn't want. But I mean, they're they're white guys anyway. I mean, they may be Slavic, but uh, you know, close enough. There's so few of us, and we're so spread out, so thing we can't be bickering amongst ourselves. So I'll, I'm all in for for uh, Trump getting elected president, seeing as he's on good terms with uh, Putin and Russia. And if it's part of his plan to let them retake, or, or at least retake part of Alaska, or at least have their ships uh, more or less uh, in our territorial waters, because we have a unified goal of having to deal with a giant, disgusting, vicious army that uh, broods in Asia. So, I mean, no doubt the Russians have seen this threat. And it's only going to get worse. We cannot trust that whole continent. And uh, although we've had our disagreements with the Russians in the past, they're not the same organizations that they were before. So I th I'm making the argument that Russia should have a, somewhat of a government institution uh, at least to debate amongst with uh, the Americans in Alaska. And this is assuming that hasn't already happened, you know, behind closed doors and behind uh, spies and secret agents and all that other sort of stuff. We don't know that. I mean, uh, even uh, even low-level uh, Starbucks employees have to deal with the echelon of management. Now think if you're just some doofus wearing uh, green smock serving coffee and you've got to deal with the evol uh, the echelon of uh, hierarchy corporation management then imagine the level of secrecy the level of deception the level of uh, control obedience dominance in uh, the political and military spectrum. Something worth considering. Because uh, there's there's just too few of us to um, properly contain specifically Asia and uh, all that. And we have to have better relations. So it's just a little food for thought. Uh, I don't expect people to agree with me, but um, I don't want to fork over sockeye salmon. But on this other hand, I can afford to pay a higher price for it. Uh, if that means I feel a little bit more safer in my country because of fears of um, intimidation by our uh, slightly bigger and tougher um, neighbor just just across the water um, you know for that little satisfaction and peace of mind I'm willing to pay a little bit more for sockeye salmon and just have a more open relationship with the Russians because they're not our enemy uh, okay there was the Cuban crisis and there were leaders in the past that uh, definitely uh, were very hostile towards North America and likewise the other way that uh, there were North American politicians that were very against the Russians and that was just uh, like why pick a fight with your one of your neighbors when uh, across the street you got a whole block of people who don't like you so you know give up a little okay it sucks it's not cool you want to hoard it all for yourself I don't blame you but uh, it's smarter to be more open now than forced to be open later um, and as I said you know okay for the most part the Russians are Slavic and you're hard-pressed to call some of them white but uh, in the long run, uh, most of them are close enough that uh, it doesn't matter. Um, 
Yeah, because we cannot let the Chinese government get here. They have no good plans for us, and they do not like us. And it doesn't matter if, uh, you know, they're subordinates, they're um, non-politically or militarily strong uh, citizens, are friendly and nice. The fact is, behind them, controlling the puppets, is an entity that does not like us, that hates our guts, and uh, overall wants to destroy and take over everything we have. Um, so, you know, let's join forces with the Russians and fuck them together. Um, anyway, uh, it's getting late. I have to get up early in the morning. So I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good night.